Well, good day, Gothamites. What's in the bag? Wait to the end of the video and find out. But first, let me take a selfie. My, um... <clears throat> My uh, son got into a uh, school, a fight at school. Uh, this was uh, on Thursday. He was asked to not come to school on Friday just so they can investigate things and whatnot. And um, he went to school with his mother today, but late. Did he win? I mean, there was no win. <clears throat> um, some stupid kid had an, an attitude, and this kid's been a thug. He lives down the street. He's he's had issues before. He's just a little thug, and uh, and uh, he goes and throws his sweats. So their their school is over, right? And they're getting on the bus. And the buses are parked right in front of the school. And we're talking 7th grade kids, so they're 13. Anywhere between 12, 13, or 14, depends on their birth date. <clears throat> My son gets on the school bus. This other kid comes along, whips his sweat jacket at him. So my son just throws it down in the middle, in between them. There's only two kids per seat. Then the kid... Calls him a fat ass. So they exchange words back to each other. The kid turns around, hits my son at least once uh, in the face. And then my son went and grabbed his face and pushed him back and gave him a big old scratch. So <clears throat> teachers saw it. Uh, but the thing is, is this kid meant it. This kid... Either he had a bad day, bad attitude. I know he has. It's just a bad, bad seed. This kid, but um, I know that. Uh, so whatever. Teachers pulled him off last Wednesday after working two straight days in a row, twelve-hour overtime. I get a call, you know, Thursday morning. You know, oh, you gotta get your kid. I'm like, oh my god, okay. Because the wife was home with the flu, so I had to go get him. And uh, my wife took him today at 9 o'clock in the morning, which was two hours ago, easy. And they're not back yet, so I assume they let him back into school because it wasn't his fault. The other kid was on his knees trying to get a height advantage. And my son was sitting in the bus. So this kid was a little asshole. <clears throat> and uh, I'll find out in a few hours when they come home what happened. But I assume, I assume he got kicked out. The other kid got kicked out of school. Wrong, sir. Wrong. He better be suspended for a couple of days at least. That's all. Some kids can be brutal, I know. Well, that that age, um, <clears throat> sorry, that age uh, is when kids start to 13, 14, they're starting to become young men and uh, starting to test each other out and try and change their ideas and attitudes change a lot. Their bodies grow a little bit in middle school. My son has definitely gotten taller. That's the coolest fucking story I've ever heard in my entire life. That's insane. Much, much, much later. Uh, we're heading to uh, an antique place called Captain Jack's. So we weren't even able to stream this week at all. I think we had like a four-day hiatus from streaming. And you can find me on uh, twitch.tv slash bat dude. 
And uh, so surviving the week, I want to do something this weekend. I wanted to get out and do a little something. I wanted to go adventure, adventure hunting, antique shopping, if you will. So the whole point of the story is we survived and let's go out antique shopping today. We're going to Captain Jack's. It's an antique store. It's only open on the weekends. It's only open for a few hours each day. And it has a huge assortment of all kinds of antiques. So my goal is to get uh, 20 bucks out of the ATM uh, just to have a little cash on hand. They don't take credit card or checks or any of that and see what we can get. I know we need to get some forks, believe it or not. But other than that, we'll see what kind of antiques that they have there. So let's pull up and get 20 bucks. And here we go. This is just a little entrance. Please do not touch the cat. It is not for sale. <laughs>
back and you made it to the end of the video, congratulations. I didn't want to leave us on a cliffhanger not knowing what we picked up from Big John's Flea Market. What's in the bag? We got about maybe 20 forks, stainless steel, all steel and silver. Um, and we picked up three items I thought were really fun and everyday useful. First one is a simple one cup coffee cup, clear glass, one cup coffee cup. It's nice and simple. Sometimes I want no more than one cup of coffee in the morning. That's it. And I kind of like nice small cups of coffee. Second one, a different kind of cup of coffee. This might be a cup and a half, but I found it really cool. It's got a nice handle. This would be for a fancier kind of cup. You'd find this at maybe a coffee house or a restaurant. Really nice base. This would go well with beer as well. But uh, nice coffee. It's cask of cream liqueur. So you're meant to put some coffee and liqueur in here. I like it. Nice. If I want a cup and a half. Last thing is, and one of the coolest I saw, this is the only one I saw. I don't know if this is from like a McDonald's promotion or from a movie promotion, but it is the Flintstones mug. Again, we can use this for coffee, juice, whatever. Super cool. Flintstones mug. Flintstones. Meet the Flintstones. It's got the ball. It's got the handle. It looks like it's a bunch of bones and stuff together. And, uh... Only paid dollar fifty for it. Dollar fifty. I gotta make sure and wash that off. I haven't used this yet. I haven't used them yet. So I wanted to show you guys Flintstones mug. Really cool, one of a kind. I don't know if it's from a promotional from like the movie from McDonald's or some other place, or they were just putting it out. Oh, here it is. It looks like it's from Arby's, maybe. No, McDonald's. I was right. There's a little symbol there for McDonald's. Right there. That looks like it's the Golden Arches. So yeah, this is a solid, real glass cup. And I don't know what this cost at the time that they promoted this. The Flintstones movie hasn't been out in forever. But uh, this is the only one I saw at the store, at the uh, flea market. So really cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I'd love to see you back for our next vlog, our next video, our next gameplay. And uh, if you'd like, I'd love for you to hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Please share the video. I need your subscriptions. I need your support. I'm trying to grow the channel. Gothamites friends, you have a great day because I'll be watching you. Stay safe.